All right, got a request from a, from a subscriber here to explain how I get this Lee's counter current protein skimmer working. Start things off, I'm running some pretty blown out old pumps that have gotten through basically a plugged limewood air stone uh, for the past months here. Um, so the, both these pumps are pretty much blown and not producing enough air, really. Um, <clears throat> Producing enough to get it to, to run just fine. I shouldn't say they're not producing enough. Just, you know, I'd like if they produced a little bit more. Nevertheless, if you understand how these things work, you're rocking. There's just a three-part understanding to how to get these things to, to produce the, the foam fractitioning you want. Um, step one, make sure that your strongest of the two pumps or the strongest air supply from the one pump is actually running the counter current. Remember, two, two air inputs here. Step one. Get the counter current flow, that's the flow going down created by these bubbles rising up here. Um, keep that in dominance, make sure that pump is running strong, and make sure that if your pump dies, starts dying, it's not producing enough counter current, you can open up those portholes by pulling these two components um, apart. That is step one, get the counter current flow. Um, so step two is to actually shut off the air supply to I'm going to throw things off here, but whatever. Pull out the air supply from the actual air stone itself. Again, getting dominance for that counter current and slowly increasing the air supply for the air stone itself, the limewood air stone. Um, and you're going to do that less rather than more. Doing that too much and you will, you will compete with the counter current and then you won't actually get the dwell time that you want and the foam fractitioning. So I've barely increased that on there. Um, I'm just producing enough um, air and we can see if you're producing the right amount of air from the air stone, that column should almost cover up the entire stone itself. You should see those bubbles go lower by having less of them there. I know that's counterintuitive, but that's the way it works. Um, step three, raise and lower the height of the entire unit whether you want a wet skim as I'm doing now or dry skim. It's your call. Take those three steps in that logical order and you can't go wrong. These pumps that I'm running as I said are dead, um, almost dead. I don't know what liters per minute they're running but I have on order a quite large uh, from China commercial aquarium pump that's going to run 38 per liter 38 liters per minute that is going to be wet skimming like you wouldn't believe that might just be too much i might just bleed excess air off but follow those three steps and get your counter current protein skimmers to work properly every time